Today we're going to be doing a StarMade 101, so uh, today we're going to be taking a quick look at some of the things we can do when we first start out in the game. So today we're going to be looking at astronaut mode first, so uh, I'm currently in astronaut mode. You can use shift and the scroll wheel to uh, come in to first person and out. When you're outside you can uh, rotate the camera around, look up, down, anywhere you want. I'm going to go back into first person mode for this one. And like I say, I've already got a core here, but uh, if you wanted to spawn a core, and if I just show you your inventory, you should already have one, so you push X. And I'm going to call this one test, and then we have a core here. So we can get in the core by pushing R, that's my old one. Um, <clears throat> if I now go over to the shop, we're going to uh, buy a few things, but we're also going to take a quick look at what's in your standard inventory. So. Uh, first thing you're going to make, take a look at here is, um, I've already given myself a bunch of cores. First thing you should do really is save your money and buy cores. If you have no cores, you're stuck in deep space and no way of getting around. Uh, salvage computer and five salvage cannons will help you to, uh, to, to uh, harvest some resources early on. You do have a gun and a helmet. You can drag the helmet and the gun into your hotbar. And when they're selected, I just go back into astronaut mode. I just select my gun and he will hold the gun okay and uh, like I say the gun there to be used the helmet you click it and he'll put it on at the moment there's no mechanics to allow oh got a bit of a glitch there so at the moment there's no mechanics to allow for uh, the uh, helmet to sort of give you air and stuff but it is it is something that may be planned in the future so there you go um, but at the moment they're still working out exactly how to determine where the atmosphere is. I'm going to cut all that out. <laughs> so yeah, basically now we've got our helmet on. Oh, it looks really bad. Why does that look so crap? Look, that's just shit. My head's sticking out the back. Okay, so that's the helmet shown off, pretty much. Um, okay, so now we've shown off the helmet. Like I say, you can put it on and uh, take it off using the mouse button. Um, once you've taken it off, I'm gonna carry on. So I'm gonna go back into the ship core. And when you're near a shop, you'll see in the top right corner of the screen, it says shop in range. That means we can buy stuff at the moment. First thing we're going to do is build a basic ship and then we're going to buy some resources to build a little station so we're nice and protected. So then, the first thing to do is build the ship. So as you can see there's a red arrow pointing out of the, uh, out of the front there, that, that's the direction in which the blocks are going to be placed. The red arrow at the top of the screen indicates the, uh, the ship's front, so the front is that way, that's all we're going to do. Is just using these blocks that we were given, which is interesting. I think I've actually used up the power blocks. <laughs> I've actually used the power blocks already. Whoops. Give us a minute. I'll just find some from the shop. So they will be under general. That's the one. HCT power. So we'll just buy a couple of those. We don't need that many because this is going to be a little ship. So uh, the most basic ship would be power, thrust, and that's it, we, we're good to go. Um, <clears throat> I will however be making this into a sort of little mini miner, so <clears throat> we'll give it another thrust block, another power block, so this will be nippy now, um, and then we're going to put weapons computer at the back, and because it's uh, we put the weapons computer down you can see this orange square around the block. That means we can just go ahead and start putting down antimatter cannons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, there we go. So we've got five on that side, got five left. I'm going to get in through the bottom in case you were wondering. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And uh, now we're going to get the salvage computer. And we're going to stick the salvage computer just underneath. And then get the salvage cannons. I'll put the salvage cannons underneath, like... See, I want to leave that open, so I'll put it on top. So, one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> so 
So we've currently got a very basic ship and at the moment it's completely exposed. So we've got 30 grey holes. So I'm just going to place holes over the areas which I don't want to leave exposed. Which is uh, very basic, like I say. So off we go with that. Okay, just literally cover it all up. Oh, and I can't cover it all up because we've run out. So, this is the point where you need to buy more hull. So I push I, shop, tab, and then go for holes. We want grey hulls. Oh, looks like grey hulls are out of stock. <clears throat> so we'll go with white. Buy a whole bunch of those. When you first start off, it doesn't really matter what colour stuff is. So boom, boom, boom. Lay it down. I think I'm actually going to need more than that. So back to shop. It does remember your place. Okay, and... Um, you do start out with 25 million credits on my server, although the standard is 25,000. Uh, the reason for that is we find that most people have a big ship they want to spawn and it just saves us admin time. So that's the reason for it. So let's just buy some more hull. Like I say, this doesn't take very long. I'm trying to do this as much as uh, you know as possible on screen. So rather than having it all pre-prepared, like I have done in the past, I should have probably bought by quantity and then typed 50 or something, you know. Um, but it looks like they've only got 36. Ah, oh, really? I need one more. <laughs> so there we go. We have a ship. Um, the ship currently has a thrust of 2.2 and a mass of 9.2. So obviously we're going to need to put more thrust on. If you're wondering where that was, see the red arrow just above it, you'll see thrust slash mass 2.2-9.2. So that's not good. Um, so what we're going to do is just add some more thrust blocks. Like I say, it doesn't matter where you put the thrust blocks. And we could just connect them up by making the sides touch like this. There we go. So now we've got 34 thrust for 10 mass. Okay, so now we're good to go, and uh, I'm going to take this one out into uh, the unknown. So, space for flight mode, and as you can see, X will roll the ship to the right, Z will roll the ship to the left. You've got WSAD to move, and then Q and E takes you up and down. Of course, we know space takes us into build mode, <clears throat> and shift is break. So if I'm moving and I press shift, it'll stop the ship. If you push F on something, then that will select it in your NAS. And as you can see, I've pushed F on this core. So if I bump into it, and then look away from it, you'll see that white triangle moving. That white triangle that's kind of flashing and highlighted is the core. So if we now fly over there, we'll be able to find that core. And then when we get there, I'm gonna show you how to mount your weaponry. So now we're in front of this core, it's still drifting, so we're just going to try and match its rough trajectory. Hit T, salvage computer goes on 2, so you just click on the salvage computer and press the number 2. Click on the weapons computer, push 1. You can also change all your sliders in here for your uh, weapons computers, so you can make them you know, do more damage, fire slower, etc. So at the moment I can see I've got a 260 range, so I'm going to push 1, come out of the menu, shoot the core doing 44 damage and as you can see it's uh, sort of gone yellow to indicate that there's some damage been done there so there we go two shots cause overheating excellent so with that being done we're going to head off to 10 10 10 and build ourselves a, a little base and of course there's no need for you to uh, have built this base already um, <clears throat> let's get back over to the shop and I need a few more things so we're going to buy a couple of essential requirements we're going to need to build this station. Shouldn't take very long. Um, you would normally fly to 10, 10, 10. I'm going to show you how to get there and then I'm going to teleport, but uh, just to save time. So I'm going to push I and I've got a few things on my shopping list. So we're going to need more antimatter cannons. So I'm going to buy a hundred of these. We need more salvage cannons, so I'm going to buy quantity 100. And we're going to keep going down the list. Astro Attack D1000s, we're going to need to buy a bunch of those computers. If 
probably buy a bunch of uh, weapons computers as well while we're at it. Uh, then we're going to get a bunch of T1000s, uh, 100. Now normally, you know, um, all the shops have them. They haven't got any. KBs are lock on like heat seekers. These things are actually banned on our server, but um, there's a new weapons update coming soon that will give us new weapons, so don't worry about it too much. Okay. So now we've got the BB missiles, um, we've got some more thrusters, probably a good idea to buy some more shields, we'll need a cockpit, we'll need a few Bobby AIs, I'm just basically buying anything which I think I might need, um, then we're going to go back up to general, hulls, docking, we need a few docking modules, about 50 enhancers, some turret docking modules, about 50 enhancers just so I can demonstrate. Oh, I've only got one, so I'll take that. Uh, gravity unit, yes please, we'll have a couple of those. Lights, we we'll need some plex lights. Probably a good idea to get some coloured ones too, but not too, not, not, not amazingly important. Um, the last few things we're going to need are going to be like um, faction blocks. So we need power, buy 50 of these, faction blocks, we're going to need a couple of them, power tanks are good for power storage, you can, so I'm just going to buy about 50 of those. I'm not planning on building any titans today, so um, I'm hoping that this will basically give you enough to get started. So from here, I think we've pretty much got everything. I've got all my bits and pieces. Just double checking. Ah! Plex and Detonator. Where is the Plex and Detonator? They might not actually have any here. Ah! Space Station. Right, so we're going to buy a shot module. We're going to buy some Plex, uh, Plex and Detonator. Um, we're also going to buy a few enhancers. And a few inputs for later tutorials. So then, now we've got all of our stuff, we can double check. You can see I've got all my things in inventory by pushing I. I can move things around if I want. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually put that camera on the front of my ship. So, at the moment, I'm actually looking from the core, and if it's solid in front, then you won't see uh, anything. It will just look straight through it as long as it's solid. But any hollow spaces can cause that. So, if we go. Press the right arrow. Now I'm inside the uh, inside the camera. You can see that from the way that I'm shooting the those are down now. If I go back, you can see it's a different pattern because I'm actually in line with the guns. But this would be better for salvaging because it's more in line with the salvager. Right then, push N. We're going to make our base in 10, 10, 10. So I'm just going to take you through that again. You can type 10, comma 10. 10 or you can just type 10 10 10 uh, it's quite good with the way it will take the numbers so there you go 10 10 10 um, and then from here what we're going to do is we would look at the dot see the dot it says 18 kilometers and uh, 10 10 10 is on the opposite side of the Sun the Sun would be at 888 so you don't just want to fly from 222 to 10 10 10 you'd have to actually go around it because <laughs> otherwise you're going to melt when you go through the sun. So then, an interesting point is if you're in single player, you can type God Mode, space, your name, and then true. And now you can fly straight through the sun without any problems. Uh, but we're actually going to use the change underscore sector command. Okay, you can auto fill with tab. And you don't need to put your name when you change sectoring for yourself. So we're just going to type 10, 10, 10. And then do it. So let's do it again. Hello. Hello. Change sector. 10, 10, 10. There we go. So here we are. So now we're in 10, 10, 10. I'm going to check the nav. There's nothing around. There's a shop roughly 2,000 meters away. So I think I'm going to go rough. I'm going to go in, in the direction of that. And when I hit the boundary, in fact, no, I think I'm just going to move my, yeah. We're going to put our, our base near that shop, so I'm just going to fly over there. It's useful to have a shop nearby. You can have your own player shop, but um, 
In fact, there we go. We stop here, we're about a sector away. Okay, so to make a station, all you have to do is push R to exit your ship. As you can see, we're outside the ship. And then you push M. It will, the menu will come up saying M for Mike, that is M on the keyboard. To create a new ship, it says, even though this is a new space station. Enter the name of your choice. So we're going to call this Awesome Station 1. And as you can see, it's just a block. And you're probably thinking, well, what, what do I do with this? Because you know, I can't push R on it or anything. Um, and that is what you're going to need a build block for. If you ever didn't give yourself a build block and you're in, uh, obviously you can buy it at the shop, but if you didn't buy one, like me, just now, you can use give ID, your name, the ID number, which in this case is 123, and then the number that you wish. So now I have a bunch of build blocks, I'm going to shove them in my hotbar, and then we're going to whack a build block underneath this station block. After that, you can actually remove this block. So we take this up on here. You don't need to keep that, as long as there's one block left. So if I take this one away now, it will say warning. This will destroy the station, no refunds. It does cost 100,000 to create your station, okay? So the first thing you're gonna need once you've actually got a build block down is a faction module. Because the last thing you want is uh, to create a massive station and then have it get blown up. So what we do is we go faction module, activate. Of course, we're not in a faction, so we're gonna have to press I, hit the faction tab, create new faction. I'm going to create Mushroom Fleet. And now that's my faction. If I now try and push R on the faction module, it'll say enter faction signature. Reset obviously takes it out of your faction. So we're going to enter the faction signature. And now as you see at the top, it says awesome station one has been changed to Mushroom Fleet. Push R again, make faction home. Now, if I shoot this, cannot attack a faction's home base. So at the moment, this is invulnerable. Now obviously the game is subject to change, so it may you may find that that is not always the case. However, for all intents and purposes, at the moment, that is it. That's all you need to do, okay? And say I want to log out now, because we have a uh, dock it or lose it policy on our server, again. Uh, all you have to do is get your docking module, enter the build block, and we have docking area ignored to allow people to dock their ships easily onto their home bases for this exact reason. So there's your docking module. So this is it. This is the base. Build block, faction block, docking module. No need for enhancers on your faction home base. So now we push R. Head over to the ship. R on the core. C will level your ship. If you're at a funny angle. Okay. And we're getting the camera. Where's the camera? There we go. Where's the camera? Right. And if you're in the camera of your ship, the docking beam will come from that camera. Okay? So if you push zero in flight mode, I'm just sort of going into an external view so you can see what happens. But zap, and we're on the dock. That's it. Now, if I exit this, the invulnerability extends to. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm trapped. Help! <laughs> I'm gonna <to> say. <clears throat> right. We need to modify this slightly. I couldn't get out. There we go. Okay, so out we get. And we're gonna walk forwards, backwards, sideways. There we go. And we're out. So now, for all intents and purposes, this is invulnerable. And if you log out and log back in, as long as the server doesn't get reset, this will still be here. Of course, there are other precautions which you should always take. So if I like this ship really, if I really love this ship that much, I need to push I, hit the catalog tab, and hit save to local. This will save it to your computer, not the server. So if the server is reset, you can simply re-upload the ship and carry on like nothing happened. So we're going to call this awesome ship one. And obviously you don't see it appear here because that was on my computer. If I wanted to upload that again, I'd have to upload and scroll all the way to the bottom of the list and find the ship that I was working on. Uh, if you want to just have it here, because it's just a temp ship, so temp ship one, I don't really care about losing it, but I do want to be able to spawn it from in the game. So you could create it on here, and there you have temp ship one, with a cost of 23,250. So that's pretty much it for the... Uh, basic tutorial.
So we've covered many things. We've covered basic flight control, movement control. Um, we've covered um, how to operate the shot, what sort of blocks you're going to need. We've built our first home base, which is factioned and uh, therefore protected and invulnerable when we log out. So at this point, we can just log out and when we come back, it should still be here. So that's the theory. And uh, that being said, that's pretty much all I had planned for this particular episode. So uh, next episode, we'll be doing a hangar and a player shop. And we're going to be adding some, some turrets to this home base. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.